Hello everyone, welcome back to Nigerian View. So guys, this video that you are about to watch is about this young man that you are currently seeing on your screen. So, this young man took his life by himself. And the reason he took his life was because he was obviously tired of living in this world that we are currently in. And I am going to tell you guys what happened, the reason he decided to end it all. And the reason I am making this video is because I have a lot of viewers and there might be some people that will come across this video that is going through exactly what this young man went through that made him to end it all. I just want you to pay attention. In case you are in a similar situation, I want you to know that you don't have to end it. There is always a light at the end of the tunnel. So without wasting any of your time, let's just go straight into what happened. This young man is by the name of Afolabi, but he is popularly known as Afo. He was 42 years old, married with three children. So a lot of people would be surprised and ask what was the problem that made this man to end it. He actually hung himself. So according to the story, Afo works in a car lot where they sell cars. He have a partner who lives outside Nigeria. So what happened is that his partner shipped cars to Nigeria and Afo sells the car. So recently, there was a car that was to be sold and the moment of selling that car, it was discovered that the catalyst of the car was missing. So they started doing a little bit of investigation and they find out that it was the mechanic that actually works for the car lot that was responsible of removing the catalyst. So they went to the mechanic, they picked the mechanic, accusing him of stealing the catalyst in the car. So, the mechanic confessed that it was a false idea for him to remove the catalyst. He actually said this is not the first time that this is happening, that Afo normally brings cars to his shop, pretending that the car have a problem that it needs to be fixed before it is being sold. So, he said that when Afo brings these cars, then Afo will tell him to remove the catalyst so they can sell it and share the money. This was the words of the mechanic. So after the confection of the mechanic, so the partner of Afo that live outside Nigeria had to do a damage control. So he posted on his social media that Afo does no longer work with him, that they are no longer partners. So after this went viral, a lot of car lots that Afo has already worked with before came out and they all said they were having this same problem the time Afo was working with them. So this entire issue got escalated and Afo was arrested alongside the mechanic. And they calculated the money for the catalyst and the money was more than 2 million naira. And they said that it was Afo and the mechanic that was going to pay the money. So they split the money into two equal parts and the mechanic was able to pay his money. So Afo started trying to raise the money. So it was during the process that he was trying to raise his own part of the money that he decided to end it all. So it is also said that Afo also had problem with another person who lives in Canada. And what happened in that situation was that Afo also failed in business transaction with the person. So he has told a lot of people to help him beg the person for the person to forgive him. All this has been going on in his life and this kind of pushed him into heavy depression. So according to the story, the way he ended it all, it is said that Afo took his wife and his three children to church and told them that he will be back, he will come back to the church. So he went home and made a video saying that he was tired of everything, that he cannot continue living like this. He said in the video that nobody trusts him anymore. Life is difficult to live when people don't trust you. So it was after making this video that he ended it all. So the only thing I want to say is that may his soul rest in peace. Then it is very important 
for people to be always straightforward when you're doing business with others it doesn't really take anything from you to be really straightforward in your business dealings and i have to tell you the truth a lot of people want to be really shady because they want to get rich quick but trust me good name is always better than gold and silver and i also want to say that if you come across this video and you are going through something like this i really want you to know that you don't have to end it no matter how difficult it is you will definitely definitely skip through because it is always said that there is light at the end of every tunnel I have to leave. Kolonda is me. I have to leave. I have to leave. We are the man who will do it. You die to me. There is someone who found him out. I have to leave. Nobody trusts me anymore. The man they want me, what are you? Don't, 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 don